I'm Dr. Joshua Schiffman. I'm a pediatric oncologist. I run a translational genomics laboratory through the Department of Pediatrics and Huntsman Cancer Institute at the University of Utah. Through our laboratory, we focus on the DNA changes, the genetics and genomics that increases the risk for children and families to develop tumors. Our goal is to understand where does this risk come from so that we can come up with strategies for prevention and treatment of these cancers in these patients and their families. leaf rauhmeni syndrome is an inherited cancer predisposition where patients are actually born with a mutation or a change in one of their genes. And that gene, not the kind you wear, but the kind in your DNA, that gene is called P53. P53 is actually known as the guardian of the genome. It has such an important job that this gene flies around our cells and around our body and actually prevents cancer. If this gene detects any mutation or change in our DNA, it goes right there and helps to repair it so that that cell doesn't go on to develop cancer. If you have leaf rauhmeni syndrome and one of those P53 genes, those guardian of the genomes, is mutated or altered, then there's a 50% chance, a flip of the coin, that your children will also inherit that same mutation and go on to have leaf rauhmeni syndrome. Someone who has leaf rauhmeni syndrome has a 90 to 100% lifetime risk of developing cancer. Imagine what that must be like for these patients and families, knowing that you almost certainly will get cancer during your lifetime, often at a very young age, sometimes even during childhood. Not only that, patients with leaf rauhmeni syndrome will often go on to develop multiple cancers throughout their lifetime. Leaf Rauhmeni syndrome affects one in 5,000 individuals. And in truth, it may be as frequent as one in every 2,500 individuals. This is a disease, a syndrome, that's more prevalent than we even realize. So by studying it, we can learn to recognize who else might have Leaf Rauhmeni syndrome. They may not even know it, and we'll be able to test them, save their life, and hopefully save the lives of their family members. One of the exciting things about researching leaf rauhmeni syndrome in the lab and trying to discover a cure for this particular syndrome is that it doesn't apply to just patients with leaf rauhmeni syndrome. It's actually relevant to everybody in the world with cancer. Over half of all cancers involve a change in the same P53 gene that we see mutated in families with leaf rauhmeni syndrome. So if we could understand, if we could crack that nut of leaf rauhmeni syndrome and P53's contribution to cancer, and if we could figure out how to target P53 in patients with leaf rauhmeni syndrome, then we haven't just helped patients with leaf rauhmeni syndrome, we've helped every single person in the world who ever gets cancer. A half of all men and a third of all women throughout their lifetime will develop cancer. So this is really important stuff. This is relevant to every man, woman, and child on the planet. Do you know, if we actually identify who's at risk, we can make sure that they have 100% survival after three years if we know where to look, when to look, and how to look. And that's versus only 20% survival if we don't look. So we're talking a difference between 100% survival versus 20% survival using the information that we gather from the laboratory. Even more exciting, we're now trying to figure out ways to put P53 back into the patients. Not just patients with leaf rauhmeni syndrome, but maybe every patient in the world who has cancer. By studying the genetics related to leaf rauhmeni syndrome and cancer development, we can learn exactly where do cancers come from so we could stop them in their tracks before they get large and spread. Not only that, we could use the same information to treat these patients, to try to understand how do we actually attack a cancer where it's most susceptible and we can make the biggest impact. In terms of doing genomic research and trying to understand where does cancer come from, I have to say, this is the place. There's nowhere else on earth, like at the University of Utah, with our tight collaborations between Primary Children's Hospital, the Department of Pediatrics, Huntsman Cancer Institute, the Department of Genetics, to all come together in a collaborative team with the singular purpose of trying to understand where does cancer come from? Why do children get cancer? 
why do families get cancer, and most importantly, with the support and resources of Primary Children's Hospital, working together with Huntsman Cancer Institute, how do we actually make a difference and save the lives of these children and families with Lee Romani Syndrome? As a cancer researcher, I'm really so excited about foundations like Titan Tough 21. These are the types of foundations that add a bright and shining light to our research. This is the only way to move the research forward. This is the only way we're going to find a cure for Lee Romani syndrome and help patients and families. Now, let me introduce to you Reagan Everett, the founder of Titan Tough 21. Well, after my brain surgery, I decided I didn't want either families to suffer from Lee Fermini syndrome. In fact, as I've grown up, I can't remember a time in my life my family wasn't suffering from cancer. Titan Tough 21 does two things. First, we help fund laboratories and excellent research doctors like Dr. Schickman to help find a cure for Lee Fermini syndrome. Second, we help cancer patients pay their medical bills, which makes sure they get the best possible treatment associated with cancer. I believe Titan Tough 21 can help find a cure for Lee Fermini syndrome and relieve financial burden of families suffering from cancer. And I plan on being around for a long time, and I need your help to do that. I hope you'll become part of the Titan Tough 21 team. Make sure you visit the Titan Tough 21 website to learn more about Lee Romani syndrome and our progress in finding a cure. I agree.